Hello and welcome to vlog number 59. This week I'm going to talk about the temporomandibular joint, or TMJ. This was inspired by a comment left on my vlog about common and uncommon symptoms of Parkinson's, vlog number 58, by YouTube user Christine Goddale. She pointed out that TMJ disorder is common in people with Parkinson's and could be implicated in the problem that I have with biting my tongue and inside of my mouth when eating. I hadn't heard of this, let alone its association with PD, so I thought I'd look into it. The first thing that I came across when conducting my research was a slide posted by the Parkinson's Disease Foundation entitled Facial Effects of Parkinson's Disease, which suggested that PD symptoms such as rigidity, tremor and dyskinesia may lead to TMJ discomfort, cracked teeth, attrition, tooth wear and denture instability in wear. So it seems that TMJ disorder in Parkinson's really is a thing. I came across an article from 2014 on the Parkinson's Resource Organisation website written by a person with Parkinson's who claims that most of his PD symptoms have been reduced and some eliminated since being treated for TMJ disorder. So, what is TMJ disorder? How does it manifest itself and what can be done about it? The temporomandibular joint is the point at which the jawbone connects to the skull. It's the hinge joint on either side of the head, by the ears. Symptoms of TMJ disorder include clicking jaw sounds, limited mouth opening and sideways deviation, clenching teeth, pain or tenderness of the jaw, pain in one or both of the temporomandibular joints, aching pain in or around the ear, difficulty chewing or pain while chewing, aching facial pain and locking of the joint, making it difficult to open or close your mouth. The temporomandibular joint combines a hinge action with sliding movement. The bones in the joint are protected by cartilage and separated by a small shock absorbing disc, the purpose of which is to ensure smooth movement. Now I don't have any significant pain in my jaw, but I do have a lot of clicking noises, particularly in the left hand joint. And I do have difficulty in chewing in that I tend to chew myself as well as my food. So maybe, just maybe, my problem could be due to TMJ disorder or exacerbated by it. I clearly remember when my jaw started clicking. It followed the installation of some dental crowns which evidently were not a perfect fit. I put up with the annoying clicking and clunking noises from my jaw for many years because, although annoying, it wasn't causing me any pain. Until now. Now I have significant pain and discomfort caused by biting my tongue in the inside of my mouth when I eat my food, to the point where I have resorted to liquidising my food because it was too painful to chew. So maybe TMJ disorder combined with poor muscle control associated with PD is responsible. What can be done about TMJ disorder? TMJ disorder may respond to home remedies such as an ice pack applied to the joint, over-the-counter anti-inflammatory drugs, avoiding chewing gum, massage or gentle stretching of the jaw and neck, and stress reduction. If home treatment proves ineffective, medical treatment may include dental splints, Botox injections, physiotherapy, prescription medication and, in extreme cases, surgery. I have watched a number of TMJ disorder videos on YouTube and I think it makes sense to try some of the self-help advice, particularly massage and some of the facial muscle exercises suggested, to see whether it has any effect on my eating problems. I'll keep you informed of the outcome. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.